Hello, in this video I will explain how to use track monitor your fleet app. I have already explained in my previous video how to install and login track app. This is our main dashboard. On the top right corner you can see the icons. The first one is refresh. The vehicle information rows are not updating automatically to reduce the data usage. Therefore, you need to press the icon to get the latest in vehicle info on dashboard. The next to it is switch views. This is to switch between alert page and vehicle dashboard. So now this is an alert message page. Here you can view all the alert messages received in time order with the latest on the top. Also like SMS, you will receive the messages on the top bar of your Android mobile app like you can see on my phone. Here is the message. So on clicking the message, you can locate the event location on map. To assign the alert settings, you have to log in from the website and visit user. Pop up and choose the alert to receive. So here you can change the view if you um, on the map let's say I'll click on satellite once you are done with this go back to the main dashboard so here the red rose depicts vehicle is at halt and the green rose depicts vehicle is moving and the red dot after the name of the vehicle means device is not sending data so each row contains information about the vehicle name, last seen, date, time and nearest location. So upon clicking the vehicle row, following icons appear. Map, I button, reports, message log, route mapper. So the first one is map. You can view the current location of the vehicle on map provided you have refreshed the info from the refresh icon on top. So here also you can change the view of the map like I click on satellite. So click on back for the next option. It's I button. It provides extra information about the current status of the vehicle includes sensor status, nearest geofence site, speed, idle time. And the next one is reports. Here you can view historical reporting for various events including stoppage, overspeed, city entry site, site entry exit, etc. If you click on result row, it will display the location on map. For example, you have to enter the from date and to date for the reporting time. So I am on the report if my vehicle increases the stoppage more than 15 minutes and the vehicle increases the speed limit more than 55 km I should get in report so here in the event so here in the event you can see the stoppage okay my vehicle has not increased the speed limit more than 55 km that's good so if I click on the first option uh, here you can see on 25th 4 2015 at 21 50, 51 time the stoppage occurred for 2 hours 29 minutes 50 seconds at Lakheri Bundi Rajasthan. If you click on this row you can see the view on the map the exact location of the vehicle during the stoppage. So go back on the main dashboard for the next option. The next one is message log. You can view the alert generated for particular vehicle in last 5 hours. Let's go back. And the next one is route mapper which is commonly all called track player. You can view the route traveled by the vehicle in past on map in near video format. So for that you have to select the from date to date. If you want any of the reporting, so you can collect, select the option and if you don't want, just simply click on view report. So here you can change the view of the map. Also you can change uh, the speed of the uh, mapper. If you want it to show it faster, you can just increase it and click on start.
you can also pause it in between if you want to and whenever you want to resume it click on resume so it's showing the root mapper so once you're done click on back so now go to your phone option button and you can see there are a few options kilometer summary download settings logout application version so first one is kilometer summary get the distance travel statistics of the fleet the results are showed based on today yesterday and month distance so here's the example go back and the next one is download update the app with the latest version from google play the next one is settings here you can disable the notification if you don't want any notification on your phone just simply uncheck it and if you want the regular time to time notification simply check it the next one is sound you can manage to off the sound for alerts messages and also if you keep it checked then also you can set the ringtone a particular ringtone for your notification and the next one is vibrate similarly you can make the phone vibrate with every message so if you want it you can just simply check it if you don't want you can uncheck the option next one is logout if you want to log out from your application simply click on yes but i don't want to so i click on no and the next one is application version it shows the application version the current application you have downloaded so keep looking for the new one on the google play and keep and keep this application version ready if you have any problem um, to give to the it support team so the next one is search vehicle on the top if you um, have a large fleet you can filter the vehicle you want enter any part of the vehicle name in the text box let's say i am on to enter so i simply enter the few text and it will show me the the whole vehicle name from this so this is our track monitor your fleet app